Okie dokie sons, it's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again and as promised we are going to do a video on a Saturday. I didn't tell you what type of video. Apparently today's video is join me on a ride to wash my motorcycle video. Um, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's December and it's got to be like, I don't know, 65, 70 out, somewhere in between there. Which is just awesome. It feels super, super good outside and uh, my bike was dead. The battery was dead. I've, I haven't had the bike long enough for the battery to die, but it died. Um, fully dead, so I had to go pick myself up a new battery from Cycle Gear, which took a while to go get and then get it installed. I went ahead and paid that five dollars for that two year in store warranty. Thanks. And uh Woo! <laughs> Feels good. Feels super good to ride right now. It's been too long. It's been so nasty out. It's been either super cold or rainy or both. And uh, I've been busy. We went to DreamHack Atlanta. And then we went to New Mexico. I wanted to ride to New Mexico, but that wasn't going to happen. It was also cold. We got to get a bagger. That's what we got to get. Bagger. So we can ride to New Mexico. I'm still a little too young for a bagger, I think. Nah, you're never too young for a bagger. Let's say uh, too broke for a bagger. <laughs> too broke for a bagger. But eventually we'll we'll pick ourselves up a bagger. We're gonna hop on the highway and then go find ourselves a a uh, place to spray this bitch down. Everybody's out on bikes today. I saw so many bikes. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of bikes up there. I wonder why there's bikes over there. I have not been here in months, and this is insane. So they've put up this huge wall here. Holy smokes. Oh, so that's going to be an underpass. Nice. Okay. This needs to be done. The traffic up here is awful. So we're on essentially what's going to end up being the access road. Um, we can get over though if um, somebody will let me over. Come on, Chevy. Uh, I think we're gonna take a right. Yeah, we it's the car wash is right by AutoZone. So the only reason I'm probably going to this one is because it's the only one off the top of my head that I could remember where it was, and that I also know it takes cards, so I don't have to go get cash out and quarters and shit like that. Oh, I went one too far. 
It's okay, you can turn him back here. Scary people, scary, scary people. It's like nobody here on a Saturday. What the? That one's broken. So we get this one. Mm hmm. Okie doke. So I really just want to get rid of that bird poop. Primarily. They didn't bring anything to plug the muffler with, so we'll be a little careful. Now we can ride for a little bit. It's always important after a wash to not get on it and let the, hopefully let the tires get rid of all their gooeyness. My feet are slippery. Okie dokie. So, a couple things to keep in mind when you're cleaning up your bike. Never use any of that tire shine on a bike, ever. Super dangerous, especially if you're planning on riding it. I guess if you're selling it, you could do it, but I wouldn't do it even then. Because then the dude you sell it to could have some issues. You don't want that. I'm going to go out to 281 and ride around the tad. Looks like we have enough fuel to get a little ride in. Of course, the traffic looks horrendous but if we get past this it should be good out of town your gas your your gas cap was open I tried to close it okay <laughs> that lady was all freaked out what is he doing why is he touching my car just trying to be your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's why I got a red bike. That'd be kind of fun to dress up as Spider-Man and ride. I should do that. Situations always make me nervous because I'm afraid that somebody from behind is just going to keep going. And stay over to the left. To the left, to the left, so you can hit that gravel and get the get the heck out of the way. Always keep your eyes on your mirrors. If you're riding without mirrors or mirrors with poor visibility, 
because you think your bike looks cool, you, sir, are making a serious mistake. These mirrors aren't the best. I, I, like, the visibility is okay. It's better than some of the ones I've had. I, they could be better. Ooh, we're going to cross a thousand miles today. Let's ride out until we hit a thousand miles on the bike. That sounds fun. We're going to do a nine mile ride out, which will give us a thousand. Then we'll turn around. We'll do about a 20 mile ride today. Nothing crazy. This is where Mama got in a wreck in the in the tourist show. She was uh, she parked up here. She stopped up here, and somebody just bam hit her, pushed her into the next car. So I was saying earlier, man, this stuff's scary, especially on a bike. You gotta always be ready. Traffic on the way back looks awful. Whoa, big truck. New Fords look insane. Really, all of them do. Hey, oh. Hello. Oh, he's on a Harley. He's too good for us. I think my clock is wrong. It says it's 2.08. I don't think it's 208. And last time I tried to change my clock, I had no idea how to do it. Oh yeah, because the battery died. That's why it's wrong. Duh. Oh, what a beautiful day. You know, there's nowhere else but Texas, really. That you can be having a ride like this in December. So we're going to go up to, I believe it's the Bernie exit. We're almost there. Almost 1,000 miles on the bike. Thing is, is I want to take 1863. Yeah, we'll still take it. Is it 1863 that we take? No, it's four, it's 14, 1430, 1431, New, New Braunfels? Well, goes up, it's the next exit. 999! 999 miles! We're about to take over! Here we go! Here we go! It's coming. Let's see if this lady needs help. One thousand miles. Hi. You need help? Do you need help? Have a flat? Oh, a blowout? Do you have a spare? No spare. Well, that's no good. Are you sure you have no spare? Do you have a, a jack or anything? Do you have a jack or anything? No? Do you have somebody coming to help?
Okie dokie, so she's off and good to go. Welcome to the tire changing world. Wasn't too bad. She kept telling me there wasn't a spare, and I was like, this little car looks new, there should be a spare. But uh, her dad was on the phone, and he told her, yeah, there's a spare. So, good to go, but now my, uh, now my GoPro's almost dead. Now my GoPro's almost dead. So we'll be seeing you guys later, most likely. I'll keep an eye on it.